Tuesday. I already voted early just because it's important for people here to vote so that you don't become the governor of New York. Burglaries are up. Grand larceny is up. Grand larceny auto is up. Transit crimes are up. And just yesterday, on the same day that this horrific attack took place, right the police want the guns off the street. Why don't you? We want something. We want something. We want something. What's wrong with you? Jerry Nadler and not Lee And where are the women? Where are the women at your conference? Where are the women at? You claim to support them. You're full of it. And we're going to get you out of a job on November 8th. And we're going to split your district. If you if you're anti-crime, why are you opposed to gun regulation? That's the question. If you go one step further, you're a total phony. Why is it that the polls closed? That's why. Orders to take back our streets. It happened again in 1994. New Yorkers are all up to fight. We decided you don't want enough is enough. You have worked together as New Yorkers to be able to save our state when our state was at a crossroads. So my thought is. Yes, people have had enough. Yes, yes. What you have. What you have is one candidate and one campaign out here talking You're about the what wrong is name, on our streets Go and in our subways. You made a wrong, wrong turn. You're using Nixon and having a zero. Been down this road before. You're concerned about right rape? Here. Talk to President Donald Trump. Trump. He has a lot of experience in rape. Done. What do you guys do? Talk about toxic masculinity. What are you going to do about guns? Eighty percent of women who are. Even though all different levels of major crimes. Are up. So this was a decision strategically that Kathy Hochul made uh, to align herself with people who advanced these proposals. I just want to jump Final in question. if I can, because I know you probably have just a few yeah. minutes. Sure. So we are we're here covering the horrific rape that we're covering the rape that happened here. Why did you come here? Because we just have another site now where somebody is taking a run. You feel safe. You hope to be safe. Otherwise, obviously, the, the woman who's out running wouldn't have been out running that morning. And it has an impact in shocking the local community because this is where they come. It could have been them. Uh, I had a gang-related drive-by shooting a few weekends ago at my house. I'm a four-term member of Congress. I'm running for governor. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. And what's happening right now is that over the course of the last 24 hours, once again, New York City is shocked, is rocked by what happened and what they want to see actually is everybody. Every elected official, every candidate, everybody should be talking about everything that they could possibly do to be able to make the streets and subway safer. It shouldn't be some type of an anomaly or a unique trait that somebody is talking about a rape that took place here yesterday or all of the other crimes that are happening every single day of all different kinds of forms all over the place. It's actually our job to. What would you